Greetings! I am fatigued and mediocre. Ah, uh, I wouldn't say that, but I'm the captain. Um, and welcome to a, a video. What's uh, better, Lee? More what's. What? What, what, what? What's better, more what's or less what's? Or less what's, what, 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 what? Um, yes, trying to help you guys um, not necessarily understand because the, you know, the, the science is complicated and we're not really into that sort of thing. Um, but this idea of why do some guitar players and why are some amplifiers famous and seem to have lots of watts and why are, do some amplifiers sound great and seem to be famous for having not very many watts. And I'm hoping this life-sized wall of sound will help to realign my circadian rhythms. Yes. What? So what I've uh, picked out the store for us to play with today is a 20 watt Marshall DSL head. This one has two EL34s in the power section and a 100 watt uh, DSL 100 uh, with four EL34s in the power section. And these we're gonna be using as our gainy amplifiers. And then over here, I've got a V40 Deluxe with two 6L6s in the power section and a V140 Deluxe, which is a 100 watt version of that, that's 40 watts, that's 100, with four uh, 6L6 valves in the power section. And we're not using the aux boxes at the moment, but they'll come in um, later. We've got, the we've got everything running through the Ampete cab switcher. Um, so I can choose to run the heads either into the 412 or the 212. I think what I'm gonna do is just run the Marshalls into the 412 and the Victories into the 212. And to start with, we've set all the controls the same, even the volume controls, everything is literally the same on each amplifier. And we'll be able to switch between so that you can hear them. And... Just be painstakingly nudged every single knob in the right Let's position give you some close-ups here make whilst sure we're... Was, make sure it was perfect. Hi Rob, say hello to GoPro. H hello GoPro. <laughs> so you can see on the 20, uh, everything is pretty much set to 12 o'clock. Oh, that bass is just about oh, okay. a, mi a micro. A micro, that will change everything. Uh, we've rolled a little presence down because I think, you know, in a non-live scenario... Uh, it was a little bit totally little abrasive. Bit. Yes. Uh, and you can see on the 100 watt, we've kind of done the same thing. And we're using the ultra gain channel in its red mode, as you can see on both. Um, now, the first thing I think you're going to hear is... and the the first myth, if you like, we're going to dispel is a 100 watt valve amplifier is not designed to be five times louder than a 20 watt no. valve amplifier. So you're actually not going to hear a massive amount of volume difference between the two. But anyway, I shall switch back to the 4x12 and I shall switch first to hear Rob playing with his humbuckers, uh, I believe, on... These are actually Pete's humbuckers, but I'll let you off on through the DSL 20 first. So number one is the 20, number two is the 100 here, and number three is the 40, and number four is the 100, 100 watt here. So here we go. <laughs> Same again, please, through this one. What's your, as a listener rather than a player? Slightly spongier, slightly more open, more headroom, got more low presence, mm -hmm. more separation in the chord. Enjoy that, enjoy that more. Right, because it, it, yeah, that's interesting. So as a, as, for me as the listener, it perhaps didn't sound as different as I thought it was going to sound. Right. Um, and it just feels, like you say, more bass end on the 100 watt, just a, almost allowing it. Could you 
just chug. So if we focus, maybe yeah, yeah. Not, uh, on a real chug sound, and I'll literally just jump between the two. Sure. So that you'll see, you have to keep your eye out on the, the lights up here. So as we're starting with, starting with the 20 watt DSL. Yeah. So that's kind of your typical thing. What I, I'm going to do uh, later in the video is hook the ox up and see what happens as we gun the two amplifiers and start to get towards the point where this one just can't, uh, it just starts to massively compress as we get to yeah. its uh, maximum output. Can we listen to the harmonics as well, the harmonic feedback? Yeah. So if we just nudge it a little bit louder, a little oh, bit more, just a little nudge. Yeah. We're not using any pedals, by the way, guys. This is all just the amp. So I've just nudged these amplifiers to get them to do that kind of singing, saturated, uh, sustained harmonic feedback. Because I want to see if we get, you know, nice musical feedback, kind of, you know, the smooth mm -hmm. harmonic uh, flow as opposed to squares. So does, and again, we're saying experiment is same basic preamp tone. It's just, yes. is there a, a difference, difference between in the way a, it will okay, sound? So here's Versus. They both want to go, but they both do sound different, don't they? They did. Um, the first one was this amp, wasn't it? Yes. And it had a nicer sounding mm. uh, harmonic feedback. To me. It sounded more musical. That one was a little bit harsh. I wonder if that's just to it's, do with, I wonder if that's to do with the, 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 just the power amp section being different or, cause it's, or just other things like I maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Um, let's do the same thing. So if we switch over to the coil tappy modes on this guitar, and now let's do the same thing between the uh, 40 watt victory and the 100 watt victory. So let's, uh, this again, by all means play anything you like, but it's gonna be clean. Huge difference, but yeah, well, from a player's perspective, the forty watts much less, for, much more forgiving to the player, softer, a little bit spongier. You know, then if you when you go to the higher wattage, uh, one forty, suddenly that there's way more headroom. It's a bit prickly, a bit spiky, a bit more. What you play is what you get. It served you on a giant plate. Yeah. So I prefer the feeling of playing over the V forty. Yeah. But I prefer the sound of the 140. It's so ironic that you say that because I think that's the general consensus of a certainly clean high headroom amplifiers. You know, the, 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 all the classic sort of, you know, the Fender Twins, uh, the, the big 100 watt Dumbles. Um, the, the sense is that if you, you know, the, the best sound will come from the best player plugged into the big louding amplifier. Right. But the, the player that maybe just wants the amp to give him a helping hand and just you know what it is? And they're John better from, off with that. John from Bad Cat, who I was hanging out with in America recently, gave me this term. He said that really high wattage amps that have that slightly brittle thing, that like a very fast sound, yeah. like what you play is immediately in the amp. Yeah. And it's that kind of 
I think fast is the right word, although yeah. it's it's not the right word, but it yeah. kind of has that feeling to it. When you plug into a lower wattage, slightly spongier thing, there's that slight kind of give in the is it, sound. Is it a dampening thing? So it's a transformer, isn't it? it I don't, is it to do something to do with, you know, the, the 100 watt one has got the headroom to basically control the speaker very much kind of on demand, whereas the 100 yeah. watt one is going, oh. But this big, that sponginess, that extra dampening the between the amp and the speaker is almost what makes it forgiving. Yes, I think that's exactly what it is. Can I try, yes. can I just can. plug into... You don't want to use this cheap PRS that well, people I'm, maybe use. I'm conscious, I just want to, I just want to try a, a, a real straight out single coil strap vibe into the clean amps and also, just... Also, can I just apologise to the viewers, I'm very jet lagged. I got back from California the day before yesterday and I am dying, so well, don't I don't die. normally look this way. I just, I want to sort of feel... <coughs> It's that attack. Yeah. And I'm not sure that I do prefer the choir. Lots of reverb. What? In this scenario, you know what else? it's also louder if you're not playing. <laughs> I was about to say, in this scenario, the hundred is sounding a lot louder to me than the forty. Whereas on the the gainy sound, the volume difference wasn't that great. So let me just uh, no. What am I going? I want to turn the forty up to kind of compensate. So let's just see. Oh my god. <laughs> Picking much harder and attacking much harder than I normally would. What? To just try and accentuate. It's not, um, I'm not feeling that, un not unpleasant is the wrong word, I'm not feeling the 40 really compressing compressing up. Well, you yeah. are using single coils. Yeah, very true. Try it's compressing a little. Try using this. It's a big sound, isn't it? You're try using humbuckers, you'll feel the difference. Trust. In it. Trust, trust in me. What was that? Trust that was like a Jungle Book song, me. wasn't it? The, it wasn't just a Jungle Book, it's one of the, the Jungle Book songs with Shere Khan, the snake yes. character. Oh, they're the humbuckers then, aren't they? What? so much compression on the 40s but there's some overdrive coming in which you're not getting on the 100 still so again i guess demonstrating that drive must be coming from the power section here i do like the 40 you know Such a good sounding guitar, by the way. This is the, uh, if you've not seen this, this is the Paul Reed Smith Paul's guitar that uh, Paul Reed Smith himself uh, owned for a year or so, did some mods to, and then gave to Danish Pete. So it's, it's a Paul's Pete's. It's a Pete's, Paul's, Paul's 
Pete's guitar. Um, it sounds great though. Um, interesting. I'm going to just do the same. I'm going to go back to those and just see if I can feel, maybe even with singles. you get a much more defined low end that you physically yeah. feel like you get a uh, uh, you feel it in your chest that you don't quite get with that yeah. head so that so this it's is the one with really the less driving defined. the speaker much yeah. harder it's a bit too gainy <laughs> oh. yeah I, I i love that that's a great sound yeah i for me it's almost not what I expected. I kind of, I expected to sort of like what the smaller one was doing here because like everything you read says, drive the amp hard, get that power amp distorting, all that kind of stuff. But I pre think I prefer the 100 watt over the, the 20. And yet on this side where, again, logic says, yeah, clean sounds, go big, get everything like that. Yeah. I'm not so sure that, um, well, but it depends. I, Are you going to gig at that volume? Is that a gig volume? Well, from people I know who've got the V40 and do gig with it, um, they do say that you you to get big clean sounds at gigging volume, this amp is going hard and you do get that kind of yeah, yeah. compression. So if you wanted spanking clean uh, at gig level, you've got to have a you, 140. You do probably need to go up to the 100, which I guess is why you know things like the Fender Twin is such a go-to kind of gigging amplifier because it's you know people will go oh 100 watts man who needs that but it's like if you do or if you need clean volume country player yeah. or something like that right so um what i'm now going to do is quickly plug the oxes in and just give you for the final part of the demo kind of what is the difference in sound between a gunned 20 watt and a gunned 100 watt and we'll do the same on this one but without necessarily running it at the actual volume it would be if we did. We'll, we'll attenuate it back using the ox, but hey, there is the little, bear with us. Right, final bit of the demo then. We've wired the ox in, we're using, uh, we've got two oxes so that again, we can use the two different cabinets. This'll do the marshals, this'll do the uh, victories. The idea is I'm just gonna literally gun this so you can kind of see if I go pro it again, all we've really done here is turn the volume up maximum. And then on the 100, we've kind of gone almost maximum. I mean, we, we can try going It's loud. Much. It was certainly, um, certainly a suit. Once you really started to wind it up, you then began to hear more of a distinct volume difference between the 20 and the 50 as well. Uh, I've attenuated it on number four on the ox, which from memory is probably meaning we're at about 60% of the volume it would be if we took the ox out completely. Um, anyway, here is the 20 gunned uh, and absolutely when we were just messing around, listen out for that compression on the on the power section. <laughs> Right, this might jump a bit in volume, Pete, but here we go to the hunt.
Now, definitely, all, there's the volume difference. It sort of jumps in once you start to sort of gun it. Again, not five times, of course, like we said before, but a noticeably louder yeah. sound. If I step this back maybe to number three, let's just gun this completely oh, God. Uh, and see what... Actually, I won't gun the gain completely, well, but... Uh, why not? Uh, here we go. Well, the, the low now, end is really flammable. Now you've and... got the compression, haven't you? Which yeah. is, I guess, un almost unwanted. It's too right? much. <laughs> Yeah, it's too flabby. So, but therein lies the idea with the 100 watt is you can get to the volume that you need without the comp without the unwanted compression. Uh, There's so, obviously a sweet spot though, isn't there? If you, if you uh, I mean, that volume should, yeah, should be about. Yeah, there. I think we were getting the best sounds were with the volumes maybe like at sort of two thirds. So let's, yeah, yeah just finish up on, here we go. <laughs> Kicks you in the chest. Yeah. Some so nice... there we go. That's that one. Um, now, if we do the same over here, so we've got the 40. Let's just turn this up. Now we're going to gun this, aren't we? We said so. Master volume full up, preamp volume about three quarters of the way. Uh, and single course? The other cab. Yeah, sure. Uh, so that, again, this is attenuated number four, so about 60% of its volume, I think. sound isn't it yeah it's a big big sound can i just uh, strat it up you may maybe? strat it up i'm just trying to decide on the um i've just wound the the, the preamp volume down because i'm i'm trying to not juice the preamp too much on this so i've got the preamp back down to halfway but the, the power amp volume on full on both just to kind of see now obviously a lot of these amplifiers you'd use pedals with and things like that but, but we're not so here's the the, the 40 again <coughs> That's a real feel thing because the compression on the feel is crazy, isn't yeah. it? I feel like that's 
almost annoying me now. I feel like I want the amp to just open to do up more. more. Yeah. yeah. Um... <coughs> is giving me it's still compressing but not half as much uh, and it's try a bit more preamp just to sneak in a bit more of that pre yeah there you go that's a big sound man. it's a huge sound um, it, it definitely, the more you gun it towards its max volume, the more um, brightness it loses as well. Well, it gets the dark sucks it? up some of the brightness That's too. That's true. That's true. Maybe I can just, I might just put this on five for these. Because um, I, yeah. The, well, uh -huh. just, so this is more like, five is more like 80% rather than 60%. Five will make you get down. <laughs> It's, it's just needs, this is all, I, I, what's the right word? Maxed out, this feels like you've got the dog on a fairly short leash. Right. <laughs> you know, whereas this one still feels like it could be in attack mode if you just gave it the command. Right. Just, oh, I'm gonna get naughty. Dun, dun. Oh, and then that still one. sounded good. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be. still sounds good it still sounds good but it's a different good it's like um yeah i can't i don't think this video was designed to say that the, the sort of is more what's better than less what's or whatever we called this video in the end it was it wasn't the, the answer is no the answer is just more what's is different sounding to less what's it's not it, there's a there's only a small part of the jigsaw puzzle uh, is kind of uh, that you need more volume. It's definitely about the type of tone that you're trying to create as a guitar player, the kind of feel that you want to create. Yeah. Um, there's, I think there's a, there's a, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's there's loud. Some, there's something about playing loud though that's just, it's what, it's almost like the electric guitar just goes, yes, this is why people invented me. And you know what, um, there's, there's a big difference between driving an amp hard and miking it up and putting it through a giant PA too because mm. having that PA thing and the guitar shaking and the stage shaking yeah. when you play guitar and the stage moves that's a really cool feeling yeah yeah well there we are look so I'd love to hear your comments below hopefully hopefully you found this interesting um, it perhaps gives you some insight now as to why you know amps like the AC30 has a, a certain sound even though it's a relatively low you know wattage amp why the Fender Twin sounds a certain way why when Hendrix plugs into the 100 watt super lead, it's just like, it's just a crazy different sound to almost any other amp ever invented. Uh, but there we are, it was fun. It was fun. Um, like what, I can barely hear you now. <laughs> Congratulations Rob for getting through today. Hopefully uh, jet lag will be just one day better tomorrow. Yay. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll, I'll see you next time. See you later. What? What? What, 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 what,